Dude, I had this dream. I was wearing Heelys and the whole universe was wearing Heelys and we would just walk around, like we would just heal around everywhere. And like there was Heely training and then I woke up and that wasn't reality. I got like depressed. I was like, damn, life sucks, man. Oh my God, that shit was horrible. I mean, you know, I was like really edgy back then. So I would wear like all black and I'd like, I had this like trench coat type shit on. So I was like fucking like, bro, now I'm like wearing like this, like, <laughs> I mean, so it's That's totally fine. changed. Back then it was like really oversized, like thrifted jackets and still kind of similar, but it was a lot darker. Like I, w I wasn't into too much color back then. I want to say Tyler the Creator because I want to hang out with him, but he's too rich and I'll just feel fucking horrible. <laughs> I'll be like, I can't afford that. That's cool. I, the only thing I would do is like go thrifting. I would go thrifting with Tyler the Creator. That'd be fun. That'd be what, cute. What yeah. outfit do you think you'd pull up with? Like specifically if you met him? You'd pull up with? I'd just like some old granddad shit. I don't know. He dresses like a grandfather. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what the shit is called, but it's like grand. You know, there. Asian granddads are literally fashion icons. When I go to the bus stop, like, you know, Asian grandfathers, Asian grandmothers, they're just like decked out, color coded. That shit is my, actually my inspiration. They know what they're doing, bro. They know what they're doing, <laughs> for real. They are the icons, bro. for real. I don't know shit about fashion. I don't even know what people are wearing. I just, uh, I just like wearing what I wear. I have no idea what's fashionable. Um, shit. Oh, you know what? Actually, I know what fashion trend I like. I like those big ass pants, like those really big pants that people wear. I fuck with big pants. <laughs> I fuck with overalls, but that shit makes me look like, you know Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall? <laughs> that shit, it makes me look like that. So I get kind of insecure. I wish I could pull it off and look cute in that, but what is his name? Is his name Humpty Dumpty? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, yeah, I was right. <laughs> okay, the last one is Heelys. Heelys, I fuck with Heelys. Whoa, dude, I had this dream. I was wearing Heelys and the whole universe was wearing Heelys and we would just walk around, like we would just heal around everywhere. And like there was Heely training and then I woke up and that wasn't reality. I got like depressed. I was like, damn, life sucks, man. The Heely, they gotta invest in Heelys pretty soon. Imagine just like being better than every human around you and just the acceleration, the haste. That's crazy. You're like superior. I live in my mom's house right now and I don't really go anywhere. So yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Like I just wear like clothes sometimes when I need to post an Instagram picture, but I'm really not outside the house. You know what I mean? All right. All right. Okay. Okay. If I was, if they were of age, let's say, okay, this is a different reality. They're all 20 years old. Okay. Kylie, Katara, who was the last one? Yue, like the, the water princess. Oh, she bad. I remember, I remember. Wait, wait, I remember. Let me make sure, let me make sure. How do you spell her name? Y-U-E. Y-U-E, Y-U-E. Oh my God, she, she turned into the moon, right? Oh my God, you know one of my first song ever was called My Ex-Girlfriend Turned Into The Moon. Okay, definitely. Okay. I'm gonna say it. Okay, so I would make love to Katara. No, you know what though? That is like a wifey. She cares. That's what I was saying. So I would make love to you because that's like God. I would make love to you, you, whatever. I would kill Ty Lee because she's kind of like a child. Like, I think that's kind of weird anyway. <laughs> Um, Katara, she would take care of me. I fuck with Katara. <laughs> I would marry Katara for sure. Back. Back. That's a cool question. I like that question. As long as I don't get in trouble. But they're cartoons. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow, this is so old. Oh my god, you know what? This is actually even older than 2017. This is like at least 2015 for sure. 2015, 16. Now, me and my boys used to go to the YMCA and we used to look like a couple of little twinks. You know, we were like, man, this is a, you know, so we just be out there taking pictures. That's it, man. That's cool, man. That's a good picture. I miss my boys. I really don't have friends anymore. So this is nice to see. This was back then. Oh yeah, this was in Toronto. This was my... 
I think my first show, yeah. First show ever in Toronto, uh, Night Owl. I flew out there. I stayed with Drew York for a bit, Arm Franklin. Um, yeah, no, this was fun. I was I was really drunk. Um, and how was how was your experience for that show? Was like was that one of your first shows or? That was literally my first show ever. It was a lot of fun. We we were we i wasn't very talented but i could yell and i was really comfortable with being stupid on stage so i think people were really entertained yeah i was uh entertained and people were like there was like cool there was like cool people in the back on their phones i was like you fucking idiots come to the front you think you're too cool to enjoy a show and then i like bullied people into enjoying <laughs> the show so it was pretty fun ha uh, that's good actually i think that's my third show so it's my third show ever i look good i look um I became really good friends with this drag queen and uh, they were like just helping me come up with outfits and stuff and my friends did makeup on me and uh, yeah, I, I played a show in a little basement in my college, uh, Greensboro and uh, this was me reminiscing actually, this was a few months after I did the show and I was just like, damn, I look, I, I'm bad as fuck. <laughs> Let me I think, you know, what sucks is I've become like boring now because now it's like LinkedIn, you know what I mean? I, I'm gonna get back into shit posting, but now my Instagram feels like LinkedIn, so I gotta start posting about stupid shit again. To be no, I gotta, I gotta let him know, man. Yeah. This, this is what's really going on. 